Hello guys, it's Math Lessons from Alabaga International School, Grade 6, and today we have a lesson number 2. And look at the copybook here. We have ordering, comparing, and rounding numbers. We actually can write down this in the copybook. Uh, ordering, comparing, and rounding numbers. Let's try. We'll choose the place here. Ordering comparing and rounding them rounding numbers guys this is not a new topic for us i think i hope we remember this from the last year and the previous pre last year and but we need to repeat it because it's the beginning of the year and we'll move forward afterwards ordering comparing and rounding numbers look at here here we have a number line and we should estimate where each number should have a position estimate the positions of the following num following numbers we have six thousand mark letter a three hundred three thousand five hundred mark b nine thousand and fifty mark c i think you can guess where is it but uh, anyway you can do it by yourself or you can follow my instructions as always i will choose only one number from here and i think i will have a middle one 3500 mark b all right i will have a number line from zero to let's see, blue i love i like the blue color it will start from zero to 10,000. All right, here will be 10,000. Um, and who can guess how many zeros should have a 10,000? Correct, four zeros. All right, 10,000. And I need to put 3,500 on this line. And don't forget, the task was marked B, that we should write the letter, not the whole number. All right. I will estimate first a half. A half will be here. Look at here. We have six uh, squares here, six squares on the right side. That means here is five thousand. I will. I can actually write it. It's. It's okay. It's not um, a big deal actually. It's just an estimation. Five thousand will be in just in the middle of the line. All right. Let's make it smaller a little bit. And who can tell me what number will be just in the middle of this line segment between 0 and 5000? It's easy. We can just divide 5000 by 2 or divide 50 by 2. All right. For some of you, it will be a little bit challenging because it's a September and you should remember all the stuff from the last year. We should divide 5000. Let's repeat it. It's just... It's just a little practice by two. It's simple, but maybe, maybe you just woke up from your holidays and you need to start it like that. I prefer to use another color, for example, green. Green is a beautiful color, actually. Okay, we have 5,000 divided by two. How many tooth I can tooth like teeth? Uh, I can put in five, into five. Mm, let me guess, only two. Only two and two of two will be four, and that's what I will subtract from there. One and look at here, we have zero, zero goes down, and we have ten. Ten we can easily, easily divide by two, it will be five. Good, and then again, two times five will be ten and zero. We actually can move these two zeros here or we can just write down them here and we have 2500 here let's use the blue color again 2500 here and guys don't be so mm, so 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 nervous about the uh, completely right answer here because we should look here estimate estimation means you should not make making not totally right answer you should 
C where mm, possible uh, where can we put this uh, number on the number line for example I definitely know that 3500 uh, placed somewhere somewhere in between B number I will make an arrow here and let's use another I think red color will be nice for it somewhere between 2500 or 2500 and 5000 but will it be close to 5000 or 2500 hmm, that's a good question let's find maybe number in between these two numbers it can be difficult some of you can understand it easily very very fast but anyway i'm not so smart i will just calculate all right i will take the orange color and i need to understand 5000 and 200 or 2500 how many numbers we have here we have infinity numbers but if we will step by one how many st one steps we will jump from here to here we can easily find it we should just minus from the right number the left number and we will have a difference and don't forget that minus in mathematics it's the difference it's not just a uh, operation it's a difference between two numbers it, it means minus it's simple okay zero minus zero 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 minus zero zero here we have to borrow 10 10 minus 5 will be 5 and as we borrowed here we have 4 left 4 minus 2 will be 2 we have 2500 again that means uh, that's the distance between here and here good distance 250 not 250 2500 good and we should go further all right we should find number between these two numbers just the last time all right i will just copy i can do it you can't do it in your copy books you can be a little bit jealous and all right we can put division here don't forget that we use um, american and british division here you can use your european russian division if you want doesn't matter actually all right let's go uh, how many two in two of course two said no uh only one of course it's one minus two it will be zero five how many twos in five uh from the last example we have two and minus five minus four i think you can do it without me ten and uh, we have five here minus ten and the last one we have one zero left and it goes here that means we have 1250 just right in the middle of two numbers it's not correct actually we know that the half of this distance is 1250 now we should just add this number to 2500 all right let's go um let's write 2500 plus one two five zero it's easy you can do it by uh, hard but anyway a zero five seven three good three thousand seven hundred and fifty it's just in the middle three thousand seven hundred fifty beautiful and look at here now i totally understand that 300 3500 will be close to the middle but on the left side of our line segment good what is it all right and i can put b and i can put it here and let's use this arrow upside down and it goes here I think it will be useful to show where it can be here 
This is this, this is point or mark here. It's number B. It was very complicated explanation because it was involved all the calculations here. I think for you it will be much easier to do it uh, by yourself. You can do it however you want, but anyway, I need an explanation how you do it. Thanks a lot. Round these numbers to the nearest hundred. All right, to the nearest hundred. Uh, we, first of all, I will give you my number, and you can do others numbers here. Uh, we can take number 52,679. And the task was, look at here, round these numbers to the nearest uh, 100. And let's unite all this task, like round nearest 100 and nearest 1000. We can do both. First of all, I will show you, and you can show me the hundred, hundreds here. 600. It's easy, because if you say how many hundreds, we can say six. And that's number we will have the last one. After this number, we should have zeros after the rounding. But the question is, we should look on the number after this number, and if it's more than five, it goes plus one. If it's less than five, it goes the same. That's a simple thing. I think you remember from last year, but anyway, we need to uh, refresh our knowledge. All right, uh, we have 52,679, and we should round it. We write down 52,000. And we should decide now, 600 or 700. And we can see that 7 is more than 5. That means we should add 1 to our 100 place value. It will be 7. And if we're rounding, we just waste just, you know, just put two zeros there. All right, we have the number 52,700. Okay, that was a rounding to the nearest hundreds. Now it's time to round it to the nearest thousands. All right, we can see thousands here, and the same rule is here. We'll look after this number. We have 6, 6 more than 5. That means we should plus 1 to this digit. It will be 50. 3,000, and the other becomes become um, zero. Good. Same you should do here and here. Okay, number four. Order the following sets of numbers from smallest to largest. Easy way. I think you can do it from the last year. I will not help you. And number five. The table shows the height of mounting. Number six, seven, eight. Yeah. And that's all for today. Um, all right, number five. The table shows the heights of mountain summits in five different continents. Kilimanjaro, Everest, Kosciuszko, Australia, McKinley, Aconcagua, South America. All right, we have a height of the mountains here. Order the heights starting with the smallest. I think it's up to you guys. Um, starting with the smallest. I can't tell you because it's too easy. You can do it by yourself. Starting with the smallest, don't forget. Now, this is more interesting. Round each height to the nearest 100 meters. Don't forget that 100 meters is the same as hundreds in the number. For example, 6961, we have hundreds 9. We should round to this place value. But I think that you can do it by yourself. I already told you how to do it. How to do it? Choose one of these numbers to complete each inequality. Uh, the same thing, you should just find the number that put into the question mark here and compare two numbers. Easy. Okay, the same here. The table shows the length of some rivers in the United Kingdom. Okay, we have length of, uh, to the right, each length to the nearest. Here we have right means rounding. Rounding to the nearest 10, rounding to the nearest 100. 
and see there is another river river which is not on the list it's 200 kilometers to the nearest 100 kilometers and 150 kilometers to the nearest 10 kilometers what are the possible length of the river uh, this is optional task uh, and maybe we can speak about that uh, i think i'm already out of time but anyway there is another river which is not on the list is 200 kilometer to the nearest uh-huh we had some number here it was a number and when we rounded to the nearest hundreds to hundreds oh let me make a beautiful table it's a question mark it's a number and actually we rounded to the nearest 50s to 50s when we rounded it to the nearest hundreds it became 200 kilometers 200 kilometers and when we decided to round it to the nearest 10 kilometers it become 150 150 it was a mistake a little bit it's not 50 it's 10 kilometers it's more interesting actually 10 kilometers all right um we need to decide what was the number if we round it to the nearest 200 it should be more all right let's watch for example i have number 110 and we will round it to the nearest 100 to be 100 when we will start round it to the nearest 100 and we'll have 200 only when the previous digit will be more than 5 anyway this we don't care doesn't matter what digit here it can be one all right uh more than five for example five or more than five it can be five 151 will be rounded to 200 kilometers all right we have a range of numbers now from 150 one to uh 200 kilometers mm, i think okay now we have to round it to the nearest tens and we will have 150 all right let's check it out 150 and don't forget that we should round it to the nearest tens that means very important to have this digit um, it can be it should be more than 151 all right if it's 151 we will round it to the 150 correct correct easy 151 will be rounded to the 150 because it's less than five or oh, in if it will be 155 for example we will definitely round it to the 160 because of the rule of rounding i think you understand it and um, we can actually 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 we can understand that this number was correct and i can list some numbers from it 151 oh, 51 152 is correct also 153 correct also 154 and what about 155 no 155 will be rounded 1 to 160 uh, all right guys thank you very much it was um, actually a very long lesson but it's a very interesting topic uh, see you guys at school and uh, have a nice day bye bye